Hey everybody, going to do a uh, quick video where we tear down a Wemo Wi-Fi outlet. These plug into just a normal, you know, 110 volt socket. You connect it up through the uh, Wemo app on your phone and then you can turn your lights or a fan or some type of load up to about 15 amps. Uh, there's the model number right there, F7CO63. These are these are pretty sweet actually. When I was going through my, uh, I guess going through my my smart home setup, I picked up one of these because they were inexpensive at the time, and I like how it wouldn't block both outlets on the wall. Um, I did find that the E-Tech City ones that I currently use are cheaper and uh, as good, if not a little better in some ways. So I stopped using this one, and it, I've been kicking it around. So before I uh, pass it on to someone else, I figure let's open it up and see what's going on. Now, as usual, there's some type of weird screw. They're using one of those triangle security screws. So we'll use a triangle security bit. I think that's the only fastener. I don't like these triangle bits because if the uh, driver slips, you can't tell if it's the driver or if it's at the top of the threads. All right, that's at the top of the thread. So it's a nice short screw, just a little, uh, little plastic screw. Back it out a little. Now, should be able to, it should pop open. No. It's got some clips. Yeah. I'm going to make sure it wasn't thermally welded, and it's not. So I just got to go around, and it's probably a good place for a spudger. Yeah. You can see there's little clips. There we go. Top pops off. And we are in. Now there is a uh, some firmware running around that I believe emulates these for the ESP8266. I know that firmware works quite well. I've used it a few times. This is going to be the Wi-Fi module, I'm pretty sure would make sense to have the uh, power control side separate from the Wi-Fi so you can switch modules out as needed. So to get it out, let's see if we can figure that out. Now I can see the ground just passes through and that goes right to the ground pin. And then your hot and neutral or out, left out, because it's line out probably, load out maybe are these two and then we have these down here I can't tell if they plug in if they're on a wire it feels like they might be soldered now they're not in line but they're not too far down so it wouldn't be hard to have the uh, pins moved you know bent Let's see if I can get any of these boards out. Oh, well, maybe. Let's see if we can get that to... Yeah, that might work. Let's see. Let me get under here. And 
and see if I can pop it out. Just trying to get it past those uh, those pins right there need to come out. I'm probably supposed to take the whole thing out, but oops, bent that pin just a little bit. Oh, two pins, just a little bit. There we go. So there we go. Here's the uh, Wi-Fi module. MediaTek. That must be the uh, brain. MT seventy six eighty eight AN. Looks like some RAM there. Windbond. LM three ninety three. Op amp maybe. EEPROM. Serial EEPROM right there. Yeah, this is the uh, Wi-Fi module. And they have a spot for an external antenna. That must be the test antenna, that connection right there. So there's the RF circuit going into the brain that holds all the software. Not sure why they'd have an LM393 on there, but plenty of reasons, I guess. So, there's the Wi-Fi. And now we can look under and see that, sure enough, those are bent. So, the uh, these will need to be desoldered. So, I'll fire up the soldering iron for that. And then we can look and see what kind of relay what kind of power stuff is going on. All right, it took a little bit of wick, a little bit of the solder pump, but now I should be able to pop it out. Let's, let's get it past this uh, clip here. There we are. There's the bottom. It's pretty well built. Here's power, or part of the power supply. Let's see. So voltage hot comes in here. That's neutral. We have a fuse resistor of sorts. And then a bridge. Uh, but that fuse also... Oh, it's not fused there. Okay. So the fuse is only for the low voltage power supply. There is no fuse going to the relay. Because there's the relay. There's the input to the relay. And then the output of the relay is... Is... Where? Here? That one? That's what it looks like. Because that's, uh, that's out. What do we have here? L out, N out. And then, oops, here we are. I keep bumping out of frame. And then line and neutral. So, line, neutral. So that does all the switching. The uh, other pin... It looks like it's here. That's the output pin from the relay in the middle. Oh, and there's the uh, some specs for us to look at for the power supply. It's uh, ITE input 120, output 3.3, 1.2 amp. That's pretty good. So 120 in. Yeah, that's pretty good, and three volts out. So that's probably a voltage regulator. There's the diode for the coil of the uh, relay. Here is the input from the Wi-Fi module. So let's see. Oh, we have a thermistor, NTC thermistor. Here, I'll flip it over, it's easier to see. 
So there is a thermistor, it's monitoring the temperature inside, right here. And then let's see, these three pins doesn't look like they're used. But it looks like we have a switch input on one of them, probably the relay control going through that resistor. So it's, uh, it's decently well made. That's probably a voltage regulator right here. Let's see, so that, we have a 400 volt capacitor, so that's the main filter cap. This is probably the 3.3 uh, .3 volt filter cap. Yeah, it's rated at 6.3. So it's pretty, uh, pretty basic and not at the same time. And here's the inside of the housing. So it looks like the power comes in. Looks like, hold this straight here. Looks like the power comes in, goes through that fuse resistor into this bridge. DC coming out here, going through the board underneath the relay. And it's probably in, goes to that uh, capacitor. And then there is a buck converter, I imagine, control chip here that creates the low voltage 3.3 through this transformer. He's going, by the way, the output wires or those input wires. Those look like output wires because they go to either side of the relay which is interesting. Or not, am I looking at that wrong? Oh, I'm looking at that wrong. All right. Comes in here, there's a capacitor. Okay, yeah. So that's the 3.3 volt output here. So this, there is a, uh, uh, which I imagine a buck converter. I can't really read that chip. There's something there, but it's very small. But just looking at how it's put together and what it's doing, that's most likely a buck converter taking the 150 DC or so down to 3.3 at an amp and a half. And the coil on the uh, relay is 3 volts HF 3FA. That's a three volt coil. So that would make sense. So something in the controller is triggering Q1 right here. Q1 is closing the relay, which turns on the power to the line out right there. Oh, and there's the uh, value of the fuse. That's a 10 ohm. Yep, brown, black, black. Not a, not a bad design. I know Wemo didn't make this. I guarantee you this is made by somebody else and packaged by Wemo. I don't see any. Oh, wait, what's this down here? T Y E A R E X. I'll have to see if that Air X comes up as anything. And this is Rev A, 130 degrees C rated. Wow, I don't believe that at all. What's the uh, capacitors rated at? 85? 105? Ooh, look at that down there. 105 on this one, 105 on that one, and this one's almost certainly 105. So yeah, this thing's actually built pretty well. I expected to have to knock it, but instead I uh, think it's decent. So if you're in the market uh, to learn or to get into some smart home stuff. Take a look around for uh, these Wemo outlets. I don't know if it's still the same form factor. This one's a couple years old, but um, if they're building anything like this one, it's pretty decent. And that's really all there is to it. So, uh, of course, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber, think about subscribing. I do all kinds of videos. A lot of it's projector-related stuff, but 
try to fit in anything else that I find interesting or think you might find interesting. So, as always, thank you for watching.